Hey, what's good, Patreon? So, let me tell you, L.A. County was never a good place for white boys. And especially, like, you'd get your little reputation wherever you were for being either a stand-up guy, a victim, uh, whatever the case was, you would get it, right? And then you find yourself getting moved somewhere else. You know, something jumps off, fucking you get into a heads up, uh, just go to court and fucking come back and your bunk's gone. Anyway, so many different ways you can just get moved from where you're at. And I remember I had just moved over to Medium North and uh, SH tried checking me, you know, like, hey, bro, we break off a third of the store, fucking to the kitty and this, and I'm like, man, I ain't doing none of that shit. Let's just deal with what we got to deal with now. You know what I mean? I'm not fucking the one, you know? And uh, you carried cash back then. So they fucking they made it out like everything was good for a minute, you know? And I went over to my rack, fucking, I didn't really have any fucking whites that I knew yet. I just got in there and I started making up my bed. And, uh, I think it was three or four of them. Three or four dudes there from the avenues. They came up and they're like, fucking, what's good, skin? You know? Hey, all that thinking you're better than and all this and that. I go, there ain't no better than, homie, but I ain't coughing up shit. You know what I mean? That's not how I get down. I fucking take care of mine, they take care of me. And, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, I'm down for the brown if necessary. Fucking, but, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody just taking shit from me, so whatever's gotta happen right about then, you know, I catch one bank. You know, um, uh, they commenced to beat me, you know. Uh, there's four of them, you know. It turned out to be seven in all. Fucking, uh, anyway, they're beating on each other more than they're beating on me, if you want to get right down to it. So, anyway, I, I go running towards the fucking door eventually. I take my little, you know, whatever for a few minutes, but then I'm like, I'm out of here. So, I jam to the front door, and uh, nobody sees nothing, you know. I ain't fucking yelled for no deputies or nothing, and some older vato comes up, and he's all, hey, uh, welcome to the dorm, you know what I mean, I say, and I'm like, oh, yeah, well, what's up, you know, and he's all, I got them, they're, they're my people, you know, he was from the avenues as well, and he told them cats, you know, back off, dude, got busy with you guys, leave them alone, you know, uh, I guess I had clipped one in the lip pretty good, he was a little mad, and, he asked the older cat, which had, you know, he was their shot caller, obviously. He asked him for a heads up. And what ended up happening was that cat got jumped for asking for a heads up because he said, you know, we don't do heads up. You know what I mean? Just in case they lose, it looks bad. So they ended up jumping him for asking for a heads up. You know, and I was like, damn. You know, that's what I mean by their rules are strict rules, man. People don't realize out here. That rules are for real, you know. If you think you got a problem with mine and mom and dad's rules, ha! Huh, you might want to think about it, man, because uh, the fellas got some serious rules. You know what I mean? You're making you bunk on a regular basis. You're keeping your area clean. You're showering. You're doing, you know, everything you don't want to be complaining about on the street. You're doing. Trust and believe that. Plus some, you know. I remember this cat. He got caught. Uh, Doing some bullshit. I don't. I don't want to go into it. I don't recall what it was anyway. I think it was stealing, though. But uh, he ended up having to do a thousand fichis. Now fichis is you take like ten objects and you line them up. Now he walks up, grabs down, squats down, picks it up. Walks, squats down, set it down. Squats down, picks it up, and goes to the next one. Squats down, picks, uh, puts it down. Squats down, picks it up. Squats down, picks up the other one. Squats down, puts down the one. Squats down, puts down the other one. Anyway, you do that up to ten, okay? It's no joke. Let me tell you, your fucking legs are rubber. So what I end up doing is, when you're done doing your features, they're like fucking, now run. Run as quick as you can. And then you'll start to try and run and your legs give out. You, generally, most people fall down. You know what I mean? It's just how it is. It's funnier and shit to watch. Uh, it is considered a severe punishment. And for the next four days, you're sort of screwed. Your legs are going to be rocking. You know, there's no question about that. Maybe not so bad the next day, but the day after that, you're going to be rocking. Sort of like 
you know, where did I get land? I know exactly where I landed. I was uh, up at Jamestown, uh, out on the Lassen Yard. It's a fucking nice weight pile, nice big weight pile, and I go out there and. You know, there were some fools for Peni there, let's just say that. You know, what's up, Fingers? And that was my bunkie. Um, good dudes, you know what I mean? There were some good dudes there. And I get there, and I'm just fucking, I'm working. Ah, 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 wah, wah, wah. Just getting the serious workout in, right? Nuggets freshly shaved. Fuck my life, man. I stayed out there so long. My nugget was purple, blistered. Uh, the next day, I could I was on the top bunk, on the top bunk in the cell, and the next day I couldn't even get off the fucking bunk, man. My shit was so sore, tight. Uh, it was rocking me, and I knew the next day was going to be even worse, man. So the moral of that story is probably when you get somewhere. Don't go all out, man. You know what I mean? Ease into things. And that's pretty much with everything in life. Sort of ease into things that are going to be painful if you do them too quickly, you know? Uh, relationships, working out. Um, I could think of a few other things, you know? So, take my advice. Don't go out there in the sun with a freshly bald head. Just drive an iron like no tomorrow. Trying to impress nobody. And... <laughs> waiting for breakfast the next morning and talking about, hey, homie, I can't get off the top rack, you know. Uh, fortunately, Fingers was cool. He held his hand on my back. Fucking, I got down, you know, went outside, hands in the pocket, shoulder on the wall, lined up for chow. You know, that's how it was. <laughs> I remember. So at, at Wayside, it used to be over the loudspeaker, you'd hear, count time, count time, count time. No talking, no smoking, no moving about. It is now count time, gentlemen. And you, on medium south, you would go outside and line up in rows of five. You know, uh, there were lines painted on the ground, and you would go out there, and you had to be quiet. You know, uh, South wasn't a bad place to be, you know, you could get out, you could do yard, fucking, uh, medium north wasn't a bad place to be, east max sucked, you know, you never got no yard, um, horrible, and super max was even more horrible, because their yard was just another dorm, you know, like a little dorm that you could play basketball in or whatever, who plays fucking basketball, I don't play basketball, so... There was no sunshine involved, no laps, no track, no nothing. So, you know, it was just crazy, man. So grateful not to be there today, man. And if you're screwing up, you might want to think about things and not go there. Uh, I've been watching that show 60 Days In. Even though I don't ever watch that kind of shit, that shit's sort of uh, attractive to me because I trip how in other states the race line is not divided, you know, it's a trip, because here in California, that shit would not be going on. You would not be talking to other races the way they do there, you know. Um, brown and white stick together, black and others stick together, and that's just how it is, you know. Whether you knew each other on the streets or not, because a lot of times you get in there and you know a gang of fools, you know, especially when you've been there, I was there for a while, man. I see people come, go, come, go. You know, people from the neighborhood come, go. You know, uh, see them walk in the line, you know, fucking walk in the chow or something. Still had, we still walked the chow back then. Now they feed you in a, in a cell with six other dudes, five other dudes. You know, that's just crazy. They bring you plates on a fucking big old trays, big old thick trays uh, with no food on it, starving to death. You know, it's brutal, man. It's supposed to be 1,900 calories, but I doubt if that's what's there, you know. It's crazy. <laughs> so, do yourself a favor. Avoid this place. Uh, I don't know. I got more stories to tell. I'm just trying to break it up into little dinky parts for you guys to get a little taste here and there. Because um, all tears need something on Patreon. I greatly appreciate you guys. 
assisting me and assisting somebody else. So I couldn't do it without you. With that said, love and respect. Shout out to the entire tribe. Peace.